Okay, this is a video to show you sort of the way to maneuver uh, and make your way around some of the menus in the with the uh, Teach Pendant. Okay, first of all, we talked about uh, being able to select a program, and to do that, we have to hit the uh, Select button here on our Pendant, and we can select, and you'll notice that it highlights uh, the programs that are in the uh, controller's memory. Okay, so all we have to do is scroll to find the one that we want. In this particular case, I'm going to select COORD, a coordinate program that was written just to do some demos and stuff. So we're going to hit <clears throat> enter, and um, you'll notice that in the top left corner in the blue banner, it says COORD. That's the one that's being pulled up right now. Okay, now also remember that we stated that when you do um, load up a new program, you're going to need to abort the old one. So we hit the function key and it pulls up that menu right there and the blue banner says abort all okay so we're going to hit enter and now we're ready to uh, load that program and ready to be able to run it now what I want to do now is talk about uh, some of the components that make up the lines of instruction for us okay first of all in the far left you'll see the black uh, cursor uh, making its way through the uh, instruction numbers those are the line numbers of the instruction numbers that that make up the uh, the program itself. Okay, we're going to skip down past the label for right now, uh, and we're going to go over here, to, and you'll see the L. And this is the type of move that we're going to make. This is the uh, instruction type. This is a linear move. That means we're going to get to that position in a straight line, as opposed to a joint or a circular or arc move. Okay, so um, we're going to make it uh, to position number three in a linear move. This is the third position. We've got a bunch of different positions in this program and this is position number three. Okay, uh, it, no, Position number three is always going to be position number three uh, regardless of how many times you go to that position. Um, you don't have to, you know, you can always reference that position over and over and over if you need to. Okay, so this next one is the speed at which we will get to position number three and uh, right now I've got it selected at 250 millimeters and all we have to do is go to our keyboard and if we want to change that to 100 uh, millimeters per second we can do that. Um, we we'll just do a little backspace there and go back to 250 millimeters. It's just that simple. Okay. Now <clears throat> we're going to move over here to our termination type. Okay. Remember we said that would could be a fine or a CNT 100, 50, 75, 25, 10, 5, whatever it is. Okay, in this particular case, we are looking at the C and uh, the the fine termination type. Okay, so this means that we're going to go to position three, and we're really going to dial in on the desired location that we want the robot to go to. Okay, we're not going to sweep past it or roll through it or anything. We're going to get really get there, and it's uh, probably a pickup point because we really want it to find. We really want it to get there, right on target, and pick up whatever object it is we want to. Okay, so. We can change that though if we want to by highlighting it and you'll see there right above F4 this little gray box. All the gray boxes cord, uh, are uh, in alignment with the, the function buttons. Okay, So F4 is our choice. Okay, So we can make a choice and there's a window that opens up and we can pick up uh, the CNT if we wanted to make it CNT. We could do that. It automatically defaults to CNT 100 but we could also make it 50 if we wanted to just by punching the numbers 50. All right. However, we're going to go back to um, our choice button, okay, and we're going to make that a fine again, okay. Okay, and that right there, all right, and go to choice, and fine is at the top of the menu. We just hit enter, and it goes back to fine, okay. Now, <clears throat> a couple other things I want to show you uh, that's, that's, I'm really glad that we're doing this video. Uh, you'll notice that on line number three, we've got something that says uh, RO. Now, this is an instruction type, okay? Uh, RO stands for robot output, okay? And I can just select, select my next button over here, okay? And we can look and see what type of instruction type by hitting F1, okay? And it brings up a host of menus for us. And there you can see the IO, the input output, okay? We can select that. And we can pick what type of robot, uh, I mean, what type of output we want. Okay. Well, robot output number uh, number three is robot output. Okay. And the robot itself has uh, at least eight outputs. It can turn on different things. In our case, 
returning on those the little pneumatic clamp. The, it, there's a directional valve, um, directional solenoid valve that opens and closes those clamps, and those are built on board with the robot. And we can get ro outputs and inputs from other locations, such as PLCs. Um, we can also turn switches on and off that are uh, and wire them up to the controller uh, to make uh, external um, I/O uh, do different controls. But in this particular case, we're going to use the robot output. Okay, and I'm going to get back to the edit position there. <clears throat> And what we've done, we've selected robot output number three. Now, that's number three of eight outputs. Now, we happen to have the clamp wired to the third output. And in fact, in fact there's nothing on one, two, uh, four, five, six, seven, or eight. It's just three on this particular robot that we've got going on. So we've got it uh, turned on. And then we're going to tell it what to do. Do we want to turn that output on or do we want to turn it off? Remember, we've got to tell the robot to do everything on its, uh, you know, that we want it to do. It doesn't do anything on its own. So in this particular case, uh, on is opening the clamp, okay, and off is closing the clamp. So uh, after it has executed this line right here, gone to that position, it will open the clamps by energizing that robot output. After that, we've got a little command, and it's also in the instruction type as well, okay. And I hit the um, instruction right there, pulls up those menus, and you'll notice here has a wait, okay. What we've done, we've selected weight, and what we can do here, um, the top one tells us how many, it asks us how many uh, seconds we want to wait. In other words, that program's going to pause and run out of timer, uh, and then move on to the next one. So we can put it whatever we want to, we can put it for 10 seconds, and the robot would just sit there and wait for 10 seconds to expire, and then it would move on to the next line. But there are a lot of different instruction types we can put in here. In this class, we are just, uh, we're just basically covering uh, the basics but there's a wait command in there as well. But all of that to show you a couple of the menus that you'll run into and kind of how to change uh, the parameters, like if you want to change the speed or if you want to change the termination point or if you want to put a, a wait timer in there. In this particular case, we're looking at it waiting um, a half a second before it moves on to position four, okay? So uh, again, we just want to, I just want to show you a little bit of how to maneuver uh, with the, uh, with the um, teach pendant so that it can cut down a little bit on your learning curve when you come to lab. And again, if you have any questions on how this stuff works or how to run it or anything like that, uh, be sure to let me know. One other thing I do want you to pay attention to is up in the right hand corner, just below the blue banner, you'll see a five over 190. What that's telling us is we're on the fifth line. You can tell that by the black cursor on the number five, the five over 190. There's 190 lines of code in this uh, particular program. So, or 190 lines of instruction. And I can kind of verify that by scrolling down through here, hitting the shift arrow key, and it jumps uh, quite a few lines of program at a time. And you'll see right there, the end of our program is 189, and of course the end statement makes 190. But uh, that gives you an idea of where your curse is at, um, and just you know some more information on the instructions. But again, if you have any questions, be sure to get in touch with me, and um, I'll go over some stuff with you in the lab if you need to. Thank you.